Hey guys, this is Nick. Welcome to my channel, my video babies. I am back. I am back with another hit. <laughs> this is episode four, season one of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. <sighs> Let me tell you something. Um, like I said in the first episode and second episode, I already seen the movie um, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and Percy Jackson, the sea monster, you know, the sea monsters. Um, so I kind of like understand they took from the book and from the movie into the series. So I'm not kind of surprised what's going to happen next or uh, I'm not shocked because I've already seen the movie. So some people haven't seen the movie to you, to you guys is shocking because, you know, you haven't seen the movie. But to me, I already seen the movie. So I already know what happened with Medusa. I already know who took the lightning bolt. You know, I already know everything. But I'm just trying to experience the, sh the TV show because... I know there's going to be more seasons because after the Sea of Monsters, the, I mean, sorry, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, I don't want to go too hard to people because nobody's probably, some of y'all didn't see the movie, but I don't want to say, I don't want to spoil anything, but after the Sea of Monsters, they stopped it. They stopped making the movies. I want to know from you guys in the comment section, uh, tell me how many books they have um, because I know that every season is going to be um, a, a book. So this this episode, I mean, this season is probably the Lightning Thief or something. I don't know the book's name, so if it's copying it off the book, then that's what it is. But I know what's going to happen at the end, and it's so weird to to watch this and know what's going to happen because I'm not. So some of you guys say, "Why is he not reacting to this, this type of way?" Because I already seen the movie. To some of you guys, I don't want to keep telling you that, and you say, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I seen the movie already. So it's not going. It's not. If Percy Jackson jump off a window and landing on some clouds and shit, I already know what's gonna happen. I seen it in the movie. They did it in the movie. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really that's not gonna happen. But <laughs> I already seen. You know what I'm talking about. But episode four, I'm about to watch it with you guys. We all saw what happened last episode. Medusa, sexy self. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know the actress's name. Um, she plays Nora Allen. That's the first time I've seen her. I've seen her two shows, but that one I love the most because I love The Flash. Um, so she plays Nora Allen, his daughter from the future. So that's how I recognize. I recognize her voice. I wasn't sure it was her, but then I saw it like, with like a, a camera angle in her face. That confirmed it. It was her. And then she took the hat off and she went to look for Percy and his friends in the basement of hell. She trapped these bastards in, and she revealed herself, and it was it was her. So, um, I felt some kind of way with Percy a little bit because he trusted Annabeth and Grover to be in his quest, but yet he felt like he should go undermine everything they're saying and doing. Like he's like he's doing this by himself. He's not trusting his friends enough because I felt like, um, well, he heard early in the episode he talked to the Oracle that told him that his friends that he trusted is going to betray him. So kind of like he's in the scale of like, um, I should trust my friends, but I'm listening to the Oracle. Should I trust the Oracle? I feel like you should trust your gut. You know what I'm saying? Annabeth, you just met her for a few days. I understand that. But Grover, you know him for, I don't know, for how many years. So I will trust him more than Annabeth. But you got to trust the people you put in a quest. You know what I'm saying? But I... And we all saw what happened last, at last episode, right? So that's what I'm feeling some kind of way with Percy Jackson. Well, the quest is still going after they um, chopped the head of Medusa, which, by the way, I told you guys last episode, they should have kept it, Medusa's head. And, but instead, they took it to Mount Olympics, which, by the way, I felt some kind of way, too, that you, if you knew the gods, some of the gods are hating on you because they think you stole the lightning bolt. Why would you sign your name on a piece of, on a, basically on a stamp saying, saying that, listen, y'all keep messing with me, this is going to be you. What's like, what are you doing? Shut up, dudes. Don't, don't do that. Annabeth told you not to do it and you went under it. That's why I felt some kind of way. I'm like, why are you doing that? You got to listen to her. She's been more, she had more experience than you, right? So, we also what happened. She cut, he cut her head off. Um, Electo got stoned. I don't know. She did some shadow clone jitsu and just flew your way somewhere. Uh, and the real her is somewhere out there hiding, uh, trying to find an opportunity to get him. So this 
episode is a continuation. I don't know what this is going to be about, and I cannot wait to see this. So, are you ready? You know I'm ready. I want you guys to sit back, relax, get yourself a snack, and enjoy yourselves, babies. Why play? Warning. The following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. Oh, we're getting a flashback, okay. You have to let go, Percy. I can't. Yeah, you really can. You just have to try. I did try. No, you didn't. We have been in the same place. Yeah, leave him alone, Ma. His power's gonna burst out of anger. His power's gonna come out of nowhere. Percy, we paid for this class. One day, it could be really, really important, and I may not be there to help you when that happens, so I need to make sure you can do it. Freeze. What? Just freeze, Mommy. Wow. That's what you always tell me to do. Look at the, parent. Look at the kid trying to be the parent. Look at that. Say, breathe, Mom. Just breathe. Nah, I like that. You'll always be here. Hello again, little hero. Who in the Lord Voldemort is this? I bet you Hades, bro. I'm messing with you. I bet you Hades. Attention. A forbidden hero. Well, they attract doom. Wow. She is coming. Dahlia, we're really close, right? Yeah. What was she like? I really want to know what Dahlia. I want to know what actress gonna play her. I can't wait to see her. She was the last forbidden kid before me, right? She must have dealt with the same kind of stuff. She was tough. I mean, she knew she was a forbidden kid. She just didn't care. Yeah, I mean. When Luke and Dahlia found me, Luke cared for me right away. But Dahlia, she made me earn it. The way the gods want us to think. You gotta burn an offering to get a parent's attention. <laughs> wow, well, right? You gotta beat up on Clarice just to get my father. <laughs> That's not right, bro. This isn't supposed to work that, that way. That is just shit. That, yo, the gods ain't shit, bro. The gods ain't shit. People who are close to you are supposed to treat you that way. <laughs> right? You wanna know how we ended up alone on the road in the first place? That's a whole nother level of abandonment with a kid, yo. <laughs> Check out as a gift. To my father. Man. That's how it works with Athena. God's ain't shit. Born from the thought in her mind and then given to a partner she feels connected to. For a while, I was treated like a gift. Oh man, what they do now, huh? Oh, that shit, their room. Their room is trashed. Wait. Wait, you think we did this? Did you? I mean, Come on, man. They're not gonna believe them. They kids, why, right? Sir, when we left to get breakfast, everything was intact. We don't know how this happened. We got a witness here says she heard the window smash and then heard children's voices. Oh, come on. You tell me what time come on. Know. How many kids are in the freaking train? I don't think you want to take that tone with me, little girl. What? Oh, no. And a death. She got to do a roundhouse kick on you. Are we under arrest? <laughs> do you mind if I sit? No, you accuse me. Leave me alone, eh? You poor dears. Oh, no, I feel my spider sense is tingling. Your parents aren't here, are they? My spider sense is tingling. Isn't that right, Precious? Don't children get scared when they're all alone? Oh, okay. that don't sound right. Mom. I know She's a monster. She's a monster. Excuse me. Would you mind? Look how cheery she is. Get some cheery. Please, yes, please. See? Nervous. You're a fucking monster. Looks like. Looks like glass. Oh, so she the one who broke the window, and she blaming them, so they come the together. together. From inside her cabin. Oh, she, she trapped she them. them in from the outside. Grover, man, you, that's what I'm telling you. Grover is my boy. Uh, that's a monster too? Sweetheart. What, what is it? I know. What is going on here? Patient. Oh my god. Right. Fear's natural. Oh my it's god. It's also essential to the hunt. Run. Fear. 
your doubt, your confusion. Oh, my God. I needed you to understand what was happening so that she could track the scent. Wow, so she's training that animal. You should run now. Oh, hell no. It's so funny that nobody sees what's going on. Man. We don't see what's going on. That is all they see is kids running away. We can't even run into the train, idiots. You got ahead of yourself. We'll work on that. What is that? It's a stinger. Gober, do you know what kind of monster has one of those? I don't know. I mean, nothing good, probably. Do you feel okay? I think so. Why? Do you think it's poisonous or something? Open this door right now! I'm not sure. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's going on? What is going on? What, are they gonna see it? They can't see it. What's what is out there? Oh, oh my god. What the fuck? Move. Hell yeah. You better move. You can't see it. I bet you they could. But the cops can't see. What the hell is going on? This is how you show Athena your love. A monument to the power of perfection. It's a monument to some other stuff, too. You're talking about what some humans wow. want this place to be about. I'm talking Rose about what they Rose doesn't is. like it. Whatever. Seeing death on animals. Safe here, right? No monsters can enter. Not even a kitna. We're safe. Great. Well, since our train exploded, I'm gonna see if there's another one we can get tickets on. I think it's all just in my head that that I tell myself my mother cares because it's easier that way. I didn't say that. Look, I've only been a demigod since last Saturday. Yeah. You shouldn't listen to me. Oh, well, now he now he wanna be part of it. Yeah. Man, Percy, come on. This is my mother's place, but a temple is a temple. Maybe you could say hi to your dad while we're here. Uh, I look no thanks. What could it hurt? The water cure in back at camp. It should work for poison too, right? Oh my god. People think that's so you know, weird. I think, I think it's working. This is a great call. Damn, he looks weak as hell. Dude, you need to drink the water. Drink it. Oh damn! This Hulk. It's the Hulk. We need to get back inside. No, the Hulk you better run. Because is it working? And she's coming. Oh, that plan ain't working. Oh damn! I want to know what the beast okay, looks like. We'll take Percy inside, <laughs> and we'll go to the temple. They could knock the damn car right there. There's an altar. The highest point, the best view. Okay, but what good is that even gonna do us? We're gonna get to the altar, and I'm going to ask my mom for help. Wow. Is that the chimera? I think. I saw horns I mean, a and a big ass mouth. That's How what did I saw. How did even get inside here? Yeah. How did any monster get inside here? Annabeth, we're in a sanctuary. Athena would have had to let her in, but why would she do that? Annabeth. Yeah, Annabeth what did knows why. Say to you? Annabeth knows why. She said my impertinence wounded my mother's pride. My and that that will be my doom. Oh. Impertinence? What kind of. Something y'all did that I wasn't supposed to Jesus do? Head. Oh, see, see, he was sending it to the mountain Olympics. They said, "Oh, so Athena, you good thought of this, this shit? You know what? You stay your ass. I'm telling you, alone. And don't stop. Not to the Hades. Not to you have the vote. And if Beth got some skills, what's going on? What's she gonna do? Okay, go. Wait. They gonna give me your pen? Take this. Oh, damn, Percy. Oh, no. You weak as hell, bro. How you gonna fight that thing? Poseidon's never held me before. Damn. He wasn't gonna start now. Oh, damn. Damn, that's the ugly mother. <laughs> like, wow. And sweetheart. Don't fight it. Damn, dude. You're you brave as hell. I bet you that girl from this camp not gonna believe this story. Went up against a what? Damn, poke him in the eye. Damn. Shit. Percy, you brave ass. Damn. Damn. Fuck. 
floating hole. Is he going to float in the air? He has his power. Oh, he... Is it, what's, does he... If he falls, does he got the sneakers that What's-His-Face gave him? All you got to say is Maya and he start floating in the air. So I wouldn't know if he got the sneakers. You never had a chance, did you? If only someone cared enough for you to provide <laughs> you with one. That, is, that sucks, man. Wow. Oh, Maya, say Maya, say Maya, say Maya. What? Okay. He's always been here. Trust yourself, it's man. It's so hard for him to stand back. Well, he gonna turn to like a super saiyan. It is so hard <laughs> for us all. But he's here. And he's so very proud. But he abandoned me. Trust so him. So fuck him. <laughs> Trust yourself. Oh, he gonna turn to a super saiyan. Just breathe. Hey, if you can't breathe on the water, yo, that'd be hard. Oh, damn, okay, Bernie, you gonna do something? You gonna burst right out of that water and punch that thing in the mouth? That's it, really? Oh man, really? I want to see what the hell is going on here, man. I'm... Oh, there you have it, guys. Unbelievable episode. I love this episode way more than the other other episode. Um, the other episode, I liked it too, you know, but this was a little bit more. Uh, we get to see Percy fight uh, uh, this time. It, it was short, but he fought a little bit more longer than he did with Medusa, you know what I'm saying? Um, he got poisoned. His boy, uh, Rover and, and Annabelle was throwing water at his ass, thinking that he's going to heal that way. But I guess, he, he guess he's, still, he's still sick. I don't know if he's still sick under, the, under that water, but... <sighs> I don't know. Next episode was that was that was a good cliffhanger that he. I thought that he was gonna burst out of that water like Harry Potter did in Order of the Phoenix and and, and do some magic shit. But I think he's gonna. I thought he was gonna uppercut the thing, but <laughs> he, he's not. He's underwater. That's a good cliffhanger. So episode five is gonna continue what happened him underwater. So that little creature underwater telling him, I guess. Gave him a message that I guess his father was not allowed to give his give to uh, his son. I guess it's some big, big thing that gods can't talk to their demi, you know, they they offspring because they're not gods. I don't know how kind of rule is that. So they, I guess Poseidon gave the creature in the water a message to to give him son, saying, "I see you, I love you, son. Trust yourself. Just breathe. You have the power." And you could you could swim on the water, you could breathe on the water, you could do any you could do anything just believing yourself. Basically, it gave him a motivation speech. But that's awesome, man. I knew that lady was a freaking creature. No woman in the world so cheesy all the time. Officer, oh, can you please give us some time, please? I'm like, oh, I knew I, my spider sense was tingling. I'm surprised Annabeth didn't catch that. I was <laughs> she, she gave me her senses. She gave it to me, and she, I knew. That, that yo, she was a monster. I mean, she was the mother of monsters. So she's sitting there bursting out every monster we saw. So she's the like she's the bee's knees. You know what I'm saying? And I guess she had some puppy she was training to basically hunt these kids. And wow, that was crazy. That thing was so well done looking. The CGI, what well, they did, it well done. Uh, it was like a mixture of a tiger, not a tiger. Yeah, a tiger, a lion snake some type of shit it is that was really well done so well done and i cannot wait to do episode five and episode six with you um this episode was pretty cool he was talking a little bit more about talia i really want to see the actors they're gonna play as talia because i know she's coming you know what i'm saying i know she's gonna keep talking about her so you know she's gonna come up um anyway but i really want to know from you guys in the comment section uh, what, how many books they have, and what's the names of the books. Please put that in the comment section down below, right, guys? But I love this episode. It's pretty cool. Um, from scale from 1 to 10, this episode, I gave the last episode a 9. I'm giving this episode a 10 because they left off with a cliffhanger. That was pretty awesome. Because uh, I didn't see that shit coming, so I gave you that a 10. 
All right, so I just want to say thank you all for joining me in this video. I want you guys to write in the comment section down below what you guys think my reaction in this video. Please thumbs up. Show your boys some love. Show your boys some love, right, guys? Till next time, see you when I see you guys. Deuces.